So a quick tour here. So these are all these, which means that they are sunflowers. So I just repotted them into bigger pots, had them in starter pots down here. And they need more space and they're growing pretty aggressively. I think this is two weeks. So I am excited about that. They seem to be really, really, really growing fast. And they haven't, that's the first aphid I think I've seen on them. But been trying to keep them as aphid free as possible. Not a real popular thing with the aphids. Here we've got a bunch of marigolds. If you look down here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plants. I probably should thin those out, whatever. This is a strawberry that I pulled off of one of the strawberries that we had inside. Pepper plant. Don't remember if this is jalapeno or bell pepper. Um, I do think it's odd that you get that many flowers in there that early, so. Potentially a lot of fruit. You get a zucchini here. This little guy is a zucchini. Over here we've got a watermelon. Thyme? No, thyme is over there. Forget what this one is. Uh, big old... Um, not Probably not that big, but sunflower. Two of the cherry tomato plants. Okay, and then this whole bed back in here is all basil. And it, it's laying down because it was in the middle of a, a forest of arugula. And now you can see that it's getting a lot more light, really kicking off a lot of leaves. Doing a lot. See, it's laying down. And that's interesting. We'll just see how that matures. Here's another one of my sickly pepper plants. Again, trying to fruit, I, I pretty ill-advised, but man, I'm fighting aphids on this thing 24-7. Got one light over here. I have a mind to go grab, I have another light and bring that out here. That's definitely time. More basil that I put in here. This is the eldest of the marigolds that I have. It's actually starting to flower here. These are from the ones that I planted in the garden last year. Kind of interesting. You've got this thick sort of bush down here. And then up here you have like this taller top growth. I thought this was a jumping jack. I don't think that's too... I guess I never thought. Is this one plant or like ten plants? Make a lot more sense if it was multiple, multiple plants. Yeah, see that middle one I think is one separate plant. Okay, well we'll let it do its thing. A jumping jack marigold is supposed to get four or five feet tall. Then these are onions that I put in here. Originally they were, you know, for green onions, which I still cut things off of them, but boy, have they done pretty well in here. Kind of interesting to see that. And over here, I got another pepper plant absolutely infested with aphids, and I am gonna take it and hose it off. But this behind it is a robust, that's a really nice, Onion. This is a much deeper um, bucket filled with earth from outside. And I think this is where the original aphids came from. I didn't have any problems because the soil that I'd been using was stuff that had been treated. But as soon as I brought in this outside soil, I started having to deal with aphids. And you can see this pepper is getting enough light in there where it's growing pretty aggressively. But... It's actually, this is all the woody stem stuff. This is new growth that's come out of the bottom that's that's done so very well. But I'm going to tip that on its side and just hose it off. So this is my little station here for everything. This is another pepper plant that I planted from a pepper plant that I got at the store. And uh, let's see if we can get in there. You can see the aphid infestation. Ah, so frustrating. But again, this guy's gonna get a quick bath. We're gonna wash all those off. Here's another one. I don't see nearly the number of aphids on this one, but I do see some eggs. Actually, it's not eggs. It's like when they molt, shed their skin, they leave that behind. But I usually go through and 
do an individual check. Well, one thing that I do see is it got a lot of new growth there. Looks pretty sad. And I assume that's because aphids have gotten in there. Anyway, he'll get another bath as well. But yeah, just a quick... I mean, these are just areas I, I would like to take my downstairs mechanical room and put in 10, 10 of these. This over here, I've got a mixture of, of lights. You can see the LEDs are the white ones. Um, these are the old fluorescent bulbs, which I don't even know if you can get anymore. But, you know, having them down in a bigger room like that would give me space to let things get taller, and then I could put in a lot more. And the, the LEDs and the fluorescents, are, they're not sucking a ton of power. But it would also kind of clear up the shop area and, and allow me to keep it a lot cooler out here, which would save us a little bit of money. And then there's a ton of uh, air movement in that mechanical room. Then I could use like a larger box fan like I've got down here. Um, to move air through all those, but you know, I'd probably just need to keep pushing bulbs and thinking about. I could shoot. I could even install some on the walls, you know, because because like versus the sun, right? This is shading itself out as this gets bigger because it's competing. It grows tall, and then it shades out whatever's below it, you know. So if I could put a couple on the wall you know, on, on this side and that side and that side vertically, then I could get, you know, light this way, light this way, light this way. And I think that would just help things grow. You can see how leggy and leggy is when they're just real tall and spindly. Some of this other, other growth has gotten. So huh, I'm just trying to have some stuff to throw in the ground as soon as we get snow off the ground and I can build up what I'm going to do in the garden here, which actually, now that I see this, got a little bit of uh, aphid activity over here. Some little critters walking around. Is what it is. Next step is heading outdoor, which is why I'm, I've got these going here. The long-term plan with the sunflowers is to plant all of them on the west end of the yard so we can make a nice natural sunscreen. Um, the sun in the afternoon, man, it hits that angle and it's just, it's not that fun. But if these could give us some natural shade in our treeless backyard, these are supposed to grow 10 to 12 feet tall. That would be pretty cool. So anyway, that's what I'm doing with uh, stuff here. Just mainly messing around, trying to learn by doing. And a lot of the learning revolves around dealing with aphids. So leave your thoughts or comments in the comments section. Ideas. Love to hear them. So I'm doing everything I can do to kill the aphids.